science fun is in the town Always something cool So stick around and after this short intro You will see Do try this at home with Mr. G Hello and welcome back to Do Try This at Home Do Try This at Home is the show that takes ordinary household items and it turns them into something extraordinary. Well, today's an extraordinary day here on Do Try This at Home for several reasons. One of them is, it's a brand new season. This is season four, and this is our very first episode of Do Try This at Home here in season four. We've got an all new intro, and I hope you like the intro. It's shorter than the old one, and maybe a little more current. I don't know, you tell me. Anyways, ah, there's one other thing. Today is also my birthday. That's right, January the 8th, and yes, it's Mr. G's birthday today. So, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna be talking about the incredible force of air pressure. And I know I've talked about air pressure before, but it's something that really intrigues me because to think that all around us, there's this crushing force of all the weight of the atmosphere that's pushing against everything around us, including our own human body. And it's pushing down with incredible force. It's pushing from all directions, actually, with a force of about 14 pounds for every square inch on our bodies, on these cans, on this table, on everything. What is it that we need to do today's experiment to show us the incredible force that's all around us, but we really don't ever really notice? We need a chunk of wax, a couple of aluminum cans. We need a bowl with ice cold water in it and some tongs, and we're also going to use our kitchen stove. Hey, I hope you like my brand new shirt. It was purchased for me by my daughter, Carrie, who lives in Omaha, and she shipped it over to me just for my birthday. Thanks so much, Carrie. I really, really like the new Pink Floyd Animals t-shirt. It rocks. Without further ado, let's get over to the stove and get started with today's cool experiment. And what I've done is I've got my burner on. You can see it glowing red here. And I've got about an ounce of water in each one of these pop cans that I've emptied. Now, I've also got a bowl here that's full of snow and water. You can use ice, but I had some snow outside, so I just walked outside and got some snow. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to actually take one of these cans after we start seeing steam come out of the top. I'll take the one with the tab on top here because the other one that I've pulled the tab completely off of will be easier to seal with our wax. What's going to happen is, because the air pressure is so great on everything around us, 14 pounds per square inch, there's quite a few square inches on this can. What I'm waiting for is I'm waiting to see steam rise out of these cans. And I think I'm starting to see some, actually not steam, some water vapor rise out of this can right here. What that is is water is evaporating and making water vapor in the can. Now water vapor takes up a lot more room than just plain old air or the water that it's made from. So what happens when I take this can off of the burner, and the water vapor, when I, put, when I place it in this cold water, the water vapor condenses back into water and takes up a lot less space in the can. So something's going to happen, and let's see what that something is. Are you ready? We're just about ready here. Yep, it's boiling. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to do it quickly. I hope you can see this. Wow. Did you see that? The can crushed itself. It actually didn't crush itself. Air pressure around the can caused it to get crushed. Now, we're gonna take our other can here, and I'm gonna take this wax, and I'm gonna lay it on top. What that's going to do is that's going to create a seal over the hole in the can. Now, I could just set this can aside, like on the, on the counter here, and you would actually see the can, over time, crush. Now, watch how quickly it'll crush though. It's already started when we place it into the cold water. Look at that. The can, right before our eyes, crushed itself as the air inside cooled and took up less space, and also as the water vapor condensed and went back into water. There's two things happening here, actually. The air inside there is heated. Hot air takes up more space. Also, the water vapor takes up a lot more space than just the water alone. So once that recondenses, this is what happens. And that is the effect of air pressure on these cans. Now listen what happens when I pop the top here, take the wax off. 
Uh, I don't know if you can hear that or not, it sucked air back into the can. So it created sort of a partial vacuum in the can there. Well, that's all for today's Do Try This at Home. I am your host, Mr. G, and hey, visit www.mindlessmirth.com. And hey, become a follower of that blog if you would. And visit www.mrgmy.com. There's a lot to do on both of the sites, and I hope you enjoy them. Hey, why don't you comment on some of the blog entries and also rate them so I know whether or not I'm putting stuff out there that you're enjoying. I'm Mr. G. See you next time on Do Try This at Home. Now, in order to do, blah, 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 in order to do, in order to do, fabulous scientific experiment. It's a really cool day because guess what? Today is, well, today, guess what? Today is, stupid. We're going to have a really great time today here on Do Try This at Home. And to get started, what you're going to need is, you're going to need to forget to say ordinary household items.